again with Wild Last Frontier. Today, I'm going to try to turn one of these pieces of firewood into a Valentine's Day gift. I don't know how well it will work or if it'll work at all, but I'm gonna have some fun trying to do it. And I have to see which of these pieces of wood I think I can get a better chunk out of, but my plan right now is to get a good straight cut with the hatchet through here to make a thin but mostly even uh, plank almost and then use a handsaw to cut it into the shape of a heart and then use a, a knife and maybe even some sandpaper to to smooth off of the edges and turn it into a necklace i don't know if i can work that small or uh, more likely a Christmas ornament or something of the like, but wish me luck. While I'm doing that, I'm going to be making some food and having some coffee by the campfire. Might be harder than I thought. Well, more wood for the fire, I guess. The problem with this really dry wood is I'm gonna come out of this with a thousand splinters. on one side. I'm going to see if I can take another piece off. I am confined by my filming space, but I would not do this this close to a fire if you have anywhere else to go. It's not looking too bad. Now to get the saw. This is hard to saw and film at the same time. What I would normally do is put it down on a hard surface, put one foot on it, and then saw with both hands. I think I'm going to do that now. Well, doing it that way took about 20 seconds instead of, gosh, however long it would take. What I need to do now is bring in my knife and even up these to make it flat on both sides the best I can. So a flat plane here and here, not to worry about these sides. Those will come off as I carve it down. We'll see. Freeze dried, pre-cooked, scrambled eggs with bacon. My favorite. Now, how can I do this without burning myself? I recommend using a glove, but I left mine inside. All right, so I'm gonna put some water in this, let it go for about 10 minutes, throw my little grate off in the snow to cool. It'd be cool if you could hear that hiss. And I will get to carving. I mean, I totally wasn't surprised. That's what I meant to do. Beautiful. 
beautiful. I don't know how well you can see that, but just a little more touch up on one side and we are in business. And I have a coaster. So I have this beautiful little piece of wood. So now what I need to do is start roughing out the heart shape. So I think what I want to do is cut a V on this side. Be very careful. I'm not sawing into my leg. I'm just marking it just to be clear. So I want it. This will be easier. So I want to mark, mark out the shape and then take it back over to my sawing block to actually saw it out. So let's see, I'll leave an extra little room there in case there's any issues. Being very, very careful not to cut into my leg. Don't try this at home if I haven't said that before. Try it in a workshop. Kind of roughly see these two lines here. So that's the bottom of the heart. Here's where it's going to get interesting. To make almost a diamond shape. I want to have as many easy straight cuts as I can before I get into the finer details. So, almost a diamond shape, but then I have to come down here and up here. I think, in order to be as efficient as possible, my first cuts should be down here while the block is whole, cut that out, then all I have to do is knock off four corners. And from there, I'll have my rough shape and start smoothing it out with my knife. Well, there's the first two cuts in. Nice V-notch. But before I get into the rest of that, it's chop time. Isn't that the most appetizing thing you've ever seen? Mmm. Egg flavored styrofoam. All right, so I've got the rough shape of the heart. Took a bit of time and a bit of work. Hardest part is, as I was stepping on it, with each cut that I made, I had less and less surface to, to stand on to get uh, to get purchased, so now I just have to go through, try and clean up any edges that are dirty. It's going to be more of a geometric heart because I don't want to actually sand it. I want to say that I did it just with a knife and a saw and a hatchet. Um, the hard part is going to be these little edges here, because the wood is so dry, they like to peel up and splinter off so I'll have to be very careful doing that. So what I need to do now is come along all of these corners at an angle and put everything almost almost beveling it so to speak. It's hard to see. You can kind of see like a 30-40 degree angle on on all sides so it doesn't have any super sharp corners. It's easy to do when going with the grain of the wood. It's gonna be very painful to do it against the grain of the wood and at least try and keep it uh, even. But what I found that works is holding the knife in a reverse grip like this, 
put your thumb on your material so you have more control and then just very very slowly and carefully sort of scrape up and down it because if I turned it the other way and just push like that it's gonna take chunks out and have a lot less control so if I just very slowly on the sharpest part of the blade just go back and forth I'm less likely to cut myself and I have more control over what the knife is doing to the wood so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up I'll show you the end result so I think it turned out pretty well. Not bad for a piece of firewood, a hatchet, a handsaw, and a knife. Got those uh, rough edges trimmed down. Now, the thing I'm gonna do is uh, get my drill. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a hand drill that small. But if I get my drill and uh, drill a hole in here, put a little piece of string through it, make a Christmas ornament. There we go. Drilled a hole in one corner. Put a strand of dog fur rope made in a previous episode to make ah, to make a Christmas ornament. Also rubbed some charcoal into the wood to help make the wood grain pop. Well, it remains to be seen if she actually likes it as a Valentine's present, but it's fun to make. Well, Carly, happy Valentine's Day. I like that it's on an angle too. Ah! I know. Hey, no. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Stop filming. <laughs> well, the sun's gone down now, so I've got my little mood lights on. Uh, Carly seemed to like her gift quite a bit, and uh, it was a lot of fun to make. So I hope you stick around for the next one. Thanks for watching.